Hello everybody and welcome to another John Deere modding video. Um, I hope you, everyone is enjoying those brand new Kinsey Grand Cards. I hope they're coming along real good. They um, should be doing pretty nice here. Oh boy. Right there, there we go. Hope everybody's enjoying them a lot. Um, I was pretty happy finally got something released. Ha ha ha. I mean... We all know about that, you know, John Deere modding. He's got all this cool fancy stuff he never ever gets finished. Well, I finally got these finished and out there to you guys. Uh, we're working on getting the tracks version done for it. And uh, we should have that done here. Hopefully in the next few days. i um, been tinkering with it. I think I got it to work now. So, should be able to have that option on there here. So, uh, I mean, they're released... Um, if you do have any issues with them or uh, maybe you can't get to download them or something, uh, let me know, uh, email me, message me. Um, I'll do my best comment in the video. I'll do my best to try to help you out and uh, get it uh, figured out for you. But uh, otherwise, great carts work great in FS17, and so um, I hope you, uh, hope you can enjoy them. So uh, I guess without that, uh, today uh, we're going to be working on some trees in the map. Uh, you've been probably seeing I've been doing some gameplay on here. Uh, I did do like a video on here. Um, so I mean if you've kind of seen and when we're, when we're down here and we look off into the distance it's just kind of plain. So um need to get some trees put around this river here. So uh, when, when you do a scenograph you want to keep it nice and neat. Uh, that way you can uh, keep track of everything here so like I've got trees there it's one of the trees and then um, river trees there's my river trees hmm. river trees that's what I want right there so basically I'm going to take this I'm going to can duplicate it so we have more river trees because why not who doesn't like river trees and we're gonna pull them over here oh boy I'm gonna try to save myself some work it's probably gonna create more work and we're gonna pull them in here just like this right about there maybe move them up just a wee bit there we go so we've got trees all kinds of trees here kind of add some more volume to the map so it doesn't look so dead off into the distance adding uh, trees in here it kind of creates a uh, filler in the map that's why I like most really really flat maps just kind of lack that detail because they're just they're blah they're a really really blah map because there's nothing really nothing in there in the map to uh, give it that volume and such so really it's kind of it's like really all about the trees that's what it uh, comes down to I mean and you kind of want to get them spread out so so it looks nice get a bunch of oh, big wad of trees just kind of sitting around doesn't look too appetizing
but um, I work with the trees here for just a wee bit. Um, let me get these spreadish out over the area. And really, you just kind of want to put them, put the trees in like um, how they might appear in real life. I mean, you kind of kind of give it the a realistic effect to to the game. I mean, you just can't be like, oh, blah blah blah, and call it good. Kind of give this a little bit of filler in here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, run these kind of just like right up along here. Gives uh, the map border uh, some filler so it doesn't look so bland. Makes it look a little bit more real, realistic to the, to the game. Got all these trees. Hiring is the most challenging part of my job. We started using Zip Recruiter about three months ago. One break in my job was posted to 200 plus job boards. All the top sites. All the candidates came to my dashboard. It's easy to compare them. And I couldn't believe the number of great applicants we got. I don't know how we hired before Zip Recruiter. Find the best candidates with Zip Recruiter. Where your job is just one click away from 200 plus job sites. And right now you can try ZipRecruiter free. Just click the banner now or go to ZipRecruiter.com slash Spotify. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash Spotify.
our bake in the Maya oven, mental ray Maya oven. Just finished up here. If you saw a little thing pop up on the screen, we'll probably take a look at that. It's gonna be a little sneak peek. For you guys, anybody who watches, I might even put that on here. A little sneak peek and regular FS mapping of a model soon to come out. I think everybody's going to enjoy it here. It'll be pretty awesome. So with that, let's do a quick sneak peek here. Oh boy, look at this. Got the AO bake and everything on it. Oh man, that's looking good. Looks nice. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put uh, UV on that. We're going to So while that bakes, come back there and we're going to place some more trees. I'm going to let that, you know, just sit in the oven there at about 350 degrees for, oh, oh, anywhere from 10, 20 minutes to a couple hours. And just let her sit in there in the, in the oven and, and bake a little bit. Nice, nice crispness on it and everything. Look real good when it comes out. get these trees added in this lot like a, a huge filler into the mat I mean it won't look so so wide open and just kind of plain I mean really in maps you, you need this the filler in it
you know, placing these trees. It's pretty much a kind of an art to master it, to uh, get them so they kind of look good, so they don't look like you just kind of tossed them in there. I mean, you kind of want it to look like you just kind of tossed them in there, but, I mean, you don't want it to look like you just kind of tossed them in there. Because if it looks like you just kind of tossed them in there, it's going to look like poop. So, I mean, you got to kind of be careful and, and try to make it look good. I mean, you'd be trying to get it kind of as realistic to, uh, and close to real life as, as they might grow in real life, you know, um, kind of around a river bottom. I mean, if you've got an area that you live close to, it's kind of got like a river bottom like this run through it. Um, go take a look at it. Can you just see how it lays? And uh, that'll really help you out on uh, kind of figuring out uh, what you should do. Just, uh, it's really uh, putting all these in it. It's a consuming task, but in the end, you'd be glad you did it because it'll look, it'll look good. Now, um, I don't know yet for sure, and this is this is nothing positive, but or well, positive for all of you guys, but uh, it's nothing that's that's exactly going to happen yet. But uh, I've been thinking about um, my little sneak peek I did here for you. Uh, I'm thinking um, maybe we're going to go ahead and uh, release it for you all to enjoy. Um, I know everybody's been wanting it. People have been watching me do it. Uh, been working on it for a long time. Long, long time. I finally got one version, one of the models, done. And um, so I'm thinking we might, I mean, with our YouTube subscribers, we're, we're at, uh, oh, geez, 890, I think. It's like 890, 900, somewhere in there. But, um, I'm thinking that's, uh, ish when we get, I'm thinking around 1,500 to 2,000 is when we'll release it. But in the meantime, when we get to 1,000, um, got a couple other special, um, releases we're going to do. Um, can't tell you what it is yet. That's still a secret. Um, it's going to be a big surprise. Um, if you can guess, it's something I think everybody's kind of been wanting for a while. And uh, so it'll be pretty awesome. Plus, um, by that time, hopefully we'll have the website all revamped up and, and more detail into it and kind of all fancied up and everything. So, um, I've been trying to decide whether or not I want to do something along like a forum type site or, uh, something I want to use kind of like more showcase a lot of the models that I, I do and stuff. I mean, let me know. I mean... I was thinking like do another thing just like the John Deere modding website is now 
and I mean it's just kind of a, a general website but um, I was thinking something something more ish along the lines where um, if you need help or something um, I know there's plenty of good websites out there like American Eagles modding that um, they're a good one and so I don't so I'm just more or less kind of thinking of a site that uh, just showcases uh, pictures and stuff that everybody can access and kind of you can go look through the pictures or, or you can request stuff and um, but uh, that I don't I'll do some more looking into that seeing what it uh, it's gonna take to do all of that but I mean that we won't know for sure for for a little bit yet but uh, it'll definitely be be done here um, within the next uh, hundred about it would be a hundred to 200 subscribers so um, I mean be looking forward to it so uh, keep that in the back of your mind um, share it share share the YouTube video uh, share the channel uh, get the word out and um, if you've got anything you'd like to see in 17 or you'd like to see made in 17 uh, shoot me a request um, you can go to the website there's a request form on there you can fill stuff out to request uh, mods to be built for the game um, or if you're interested in any models you would like custom built um, you can contact me and let me know um, I mean if you've seen put a lot of detail into it so I'm pretty sure you won't be disappointed at all but uh, be more than happy to help anybody who's who needs some help and some stuff so um, hopefully here after about the end of January we can uh, start doing some more live streaming here again just been kind of busy here and haven't had much time to do much of anything been putting in a lot of long hours trying to keep you guys updated and everything plus uh, other stuff that's been going on and, and doing paperwork stuff and just kind of trying to keep things running and up and going You know, that don't look all too bad. It kind of gives the, the map some more volume dry here. But um, like this site here, it could use a couple more trees up and along in here. I guess I've just kind of been working on that side, but uh, I mean, it's coming along real nice. So, take a view here. Um, another, another bit of a sneak peek, I guess looks real nice to bake on that real crisp and clean so uh, we're gonna go ahead and we'll go to this one here and we're gonna start it baking in the oven here so
And with that being there, um, it is probably kind of a, it's going to be a short video today, only 26 minutes, but uh, uh, thanks for watching everybody, do appreciate it. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe, put a big thumbs up, uh, let me know um, what you thought. Uh, um, give me some feedback on the Kinsey Grain Carts, let me know how you liked them. And, um, and just kind of let me know. Um, maybe be looking into looking in getting something, getting this. Uh, that's model on turbo. It's good looking into buying it. Um, I mean, if if you want to see this in game, um, this could be a possible release for everyone. You could get it fixed up and working good in farm sim. But um, these do well, kind of all these models here. They do cost around. They're like 80 to 100 and some dollars. So I mean, if you've got a couple friends, you can go to the the, the channel. There's a donation link there, um, and click on it and donate a little bit of cash in, and I can take that and buy them and uh, fix them up. And I mean, once I get them to about, I mean, the, the testing point, I can. I mean, everybody who donated, I'll I'll send you a copy before they get major released. And you guys can test them and let me know if there's any problems or anything. And then once we get it all fixed out, then we'll release the final copy. So we've got that. And we've got this little side-by-side. -side. It'll be kind of fun to have in-game. But, uh, I mean, I figured, hey, why not? We're John Deere Monty. We could do a little bit of a John Deere lawnmower. I mean, here's another Chevy pickup. Um, it's uh, the new 2017 style. So it'd, it'd be kind of nice to have in there. But uh, I know you don't really see any of these model pickups in Farming Simulator. Um, I mean, I honestly have never seen one in the game at all. I've maybe seen something close to it, but nothing like this or one of this year style Chevy pickups. But um, here's another one I saw on the website. It's got these tracks and stuff. And uh, I don't know. It, be kind of nifty. You could use them tracks for quite a bit different things. Here's a power wagon. And that's it. So, I mean, if you want to learn more about them, there is a post on the Facebook page. You can check that out. But, um, otherwise, that, um, that's about it for today, everybody. So, uh, like, thank you. Thanks for watching, tuning in. Uh, appreciate it very much. Um, took that photo a few hours ago your screenshot it's a pretty nice looking one took a took a really good screenshot but uh, anyway so everybody thanks for watching please comment rate subscribe um, we'll be putting plenty of updates up on Instagram and Twitter and Flickr and everything so uh, keep uh, keep checking them out and let me know what you think and uh, give me some feedback so thank you all for watching appreciate it